Hey guys, so uh, I'm actually kind of sick currently, which is why there hasn't been a Cars Adventures episode for the past few days. Uh, but of course, you know, the grind never stops. I can't not do 25 days of suggestions. Uh, I don't know what to do for the opening sketch. Here's what I have for the advent calendar so far. Hello everybody and welcome to day 6 of 25 days of suggestions 2021. Today we're going to be taking a look at Miles Axelrod as suggested by Tammy Whitson. Thank you so much for your suggestion as always. And just so you guys know, suggestions for 25 days of suggestions are now officially closed. Uh, so thank you to everyone who suggested. We got a great number of suggestions and I'm excited to see which ones the random name picker continues to have me choose. Um, Miles here is such a great car, and it's so great that we'll be seeing Miles with Microphone re-released in 2022. The first release of any version of Miles, I believe, since... Since I want to say the original version of Miles with Microphone back in 2015. I'm very excited to get that, since I don't have that variant. But of course, today, we'll just be taking a look at the normal Miles. After we open up today in the Advent Calendar, which seems, judging by the shape of it, like it'll be another Mini, which is going to be awesome. For those of you who don't know, the McQueen and Mater are the same as the ones that we got last year in last year's advent calendar, although with slightly different expressions. Let me just grab the Mater real quick. This was the Mater from last year. This was the Lightning from last year. The McQueen from this year has his eyes raised up higher, and I don't know if there are any differences with Mater. But the other three cars, Luigi, Red, and Flo, are all new. Since a lot of what we've been getting in the calendar so far have been things from last year, it seems they're giving us the old stuff before the new stuff, I'm going to predict that today we'll be getting Mater. But I'd like to be pleasantly surprised. Let's see who it is or what it is. Hey, look at that. I was right. See? It seems they're giving us getting the old stuff out of the way. Day four has just popped back open. It seems that they're getting the old stuff out of the way before moving on to the new stuff. And Mater seems practically uh, identical to his release from last year. Is it a hot take? Is it an unpopular opinion if I say I'm not a fan of the Mini Racer Mater expression? Because I'm really not. But this is last year's Mater. This is this year's Mater. Just your typical Mini Racer Mater with some nice additional snow detailing on him. If you saw my videos on last year's calendar, you've definitely already seen this Mater. But... Yeah, now that we have these two out of the way, it seems we can finally move on to some of the new stuff. Anyway, though, with Mater out of the way, it's always nice to get another Mini in there. Although, to me, it's just another double Mater. I have so many double Maters, I don't know what to do with them when I repaint them. Mater is pretty difficult to repaint. Anyway, though, let's move on to Miles here. This is his original 2011 release. He's got a pretty suspicious expression for a guy who's totally not the main villain of the movie. I mean, come on, what are you, what? What? No, this guy, this guy's not evil. Look at that face. That, that's, that's a very trustworthy face right there. Very, I, I trust this man with, with my life. Yeah. Come on, he's totally not evil. Uh, as you can see, he's a Range Rover, but instead of Range Rover written on his hood, it just says Axelrod. Very nice touch there. He's got all of these solar panels on him, but not in these windows. Honestly, I'm not really a big fan of how the solar panels look. It seems like they're just, yeah, this one, they're definitely just decals. It would have been nice if they went a bit further with the detailing for them. Really like Miles' wheels. They always reminded me of batteries in a, in a way. Uh, he's got this sort of power outlet logo on the side there. You can see this guy is all about power. His license plate literally reads Alt Energy. Don't know what this is supposed to be uh, on the back there. There is a look at Miles' other side, though. And then there is a look at the base. Honestly, not all that much to say uh, about the Miles diecast. But he has a lot of really nice small touches on him, just showing that he's all about energy and power and totally not evil. I mean, what are you talking about? Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow for Day 7. Bye now.